Lucifer Starline, Mining and Shipping, and Air Freight. <laughs> My favorite line. I never got to use it, though. Lucifer White Starline, Mining and Shipping. Just the Mining and Shipping Company. That's just me. So, like I said, White Starline, or Lucifer Starline, is just a mining and shipping company. We just mine, we dig, we, we build. I had a small team of people, basically. I'm actually the creator, of course, and 12 types of the oldest types of life forms, and basically the real and only and original Lucifer Star line. You know, how about, about the line part? I'm also the inventor of the peace officers, or, pl or please officers, like I said. Just security, basically, and fair and fair, just enforcement. So, anyway, also the inventor of basically the Apache helicopter and the Osprey, B-22 Osprey, and helicopter, and air aircraft. Also, triple expansion steam, steam turbines, all kinds of stuff. So, anyway. So, anyway, and also deep, 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 deep underground mining equipment, and by multiple life forms. Anyway, yep, and I've had race-offs between my life forms as well. Also the builder of um, Venice, so anyway, yep, so anyway, yep, 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 yep. Also curved spindly wheels, spiral wheels, wheels with spiral spokes. That's also one of my things, I believe, too. Style, grace, all that stuff. Also massive amounts of gold and silver and other metals. And very old. So anyway. Why am I poor? Why am I living in this house? Well, because it doesn't really matter. And because uh, some people who are very much going to get tortured and I told them the truth. So they are spending their whole existence trying to kill me. You see. Like I said, at some point in time, uh, the Republicans or some group of people were trying to say that there's not enough resources in the universe. That there's not enough left sunlight left. That the sun was going to go out any minute now and we had to hurry up and basically beat and basically crush all the other countries and take over. That there's only so much oil underneath the, underneath the ground and only so many resources to have and there was no room to share with anyone. So we had to take what we needed from everyone else. It was just JFK and Richard Nixon who didn't have anything. Yeah, except for maybe some guns or something like that. So, basically, Richard Nixon and JFK went to the American people or, or the, United, uh, the U.S.ers and said we had to take from the Japanese and we had to take all the food because there wasn't enough food, there wasn't enough oil, there wasn't enough of anything, that if we didn't take from the other countries and take over, that we would be without and we'd run out before the end came or something. I don't really know. He was a fucking whack job. Yeah. So, anyway, I think that's what JFK, Richard Nixon, and John McCain was spout, spewing about back in the old days. Look, no by me. So, anyway, like I said, that star is a, that you call a sun is a big giant fusion reactor that actually creates more amount of matter every single minute. Like I said, a lot of people... JFK and other people said it was a gas giant and it was burning down its fuel and eventually, pretty soon, it would run out. And then it would be cold if we didn't take what we needed from others. So, anyway, like I said, it is not, it is not a gas giant. It is actually, in fact, a high heat fusion reactor. And, and in the fusion process, matter separates and recombines and stuff like that in the different varying variations, blah, blah, and it gives off particles out into the out into the universe that eventually are attracted back to it and blah, blah, blah. And it gives out slightly more particles than it than it uses in the reaction every second. So it's actually giving off more energy and more matter. It turns it turns whatever energy into matter or something like that and blah, blah, blah or something. Anyway, it's complicated. I don't really know. I don't care. I built it hundreds of trillions of years ago. Ask, a, like I say, ask a computer or 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 someone who really understands the the, the particle matter uh, transfer or whatever change, or change rate or something like that. But it's supposed to give off one percent or four percent more matter every second or every whatever. 
So some people said it's actually giving off 7% or, 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 or at least 5 or 6%. I estimated it was 1% or, 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 or 2% matter, somewhere on 4% more matter every, every whatever, or something like that. Somewhere out there. Anyways, anyway, quite substantially more matter than that than, 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 than actually uses. Free energy. Or turning energy into matter, pretty much, or something like that. Anyway, like I say, I don't really care. It doesn't really matter. But it's a star. Ask the Chinese. They got the closest to me. The reason why the Chinese were being tortured and abused and controlled was mostly because of the fact that they were maybe the closest to me. I don't know. But somebody was going to try and use them to unexist me. And like I say, hmm, good luck. <laughs> like I said, the Chinese are not even close to the first life forms in the universe. Exoskeletons and 1.5s and something else, then something, 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 fish, I believe, or something. And then at some point in time in existence, the Chinese came along. So, Asians. So that's why they're being tortured and abused and killed and raped and <clears throat> and framed and everything else. Was because they had they possessed a high level of technology because they had been with me learning it or something like that. Like I said, it doesn't really matter to me. It was very much impossible. And people were saying, keep your mouth shut or else we're going to kill you or unexist you or we won't give, any, give you anything or we'll make you suffer. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, uh, good luck with that. Yeah. So you're going to make me suffer for the entire 100 trillion years or 90 trillion years? Man, that's called, you know, that's called persistence. Persistent. Like, do you know how old I am? I am 99 trillion years old. As I say, the humans or someone got fast and light travel at some point in time. So they were going from planet to planet to planet to planet, or from star to star to star to star to star, looking for me to kill me. And they assumed that, that I was dead or gone or missing or whatever, and blah, blah, blah. And they didn't understand that I did slower than the speed of light travel. And I was just... Well, they were like... He's got to be around here somewhere. anywhere he must have gone somewhere else <laughs> afterwards I laughed about it I was like <laughs> and the only way they could see me is if I turned on my engines or something like that so I was just like mm -hmm. At most, if they actually could see me, they might they would mistake me for a bit of for a meteorite or a bit of space dust or something. It's hilarious. So it's possible even even Richard Nixon thought I was dead. Or Jimmy Carter or someone. But in truth, I was just... And they would just see the name on the side of my ship. Oh, that's just the LSF. Or that's the ALSF. What are you talking about? Blah, blah. blah. It's just the ALSF. Oh, that's just uh, whatever. I would name, or name a ship or I'd, or, have the, or I'd have my workers name, name my ship, basically. They would name my ship and I would just... So I get somewhere. Oh, that's just whatever, blah, 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 blah. 
And even worse, I'd give away, sometimes I would invent a new ship and I'd give away my old ship. So my old ship would be being used by, another, by, by, by someone else. And I'd have a new ship. One thousand billion years or five hundred million years. So someone thought I was dead or gone or somewhere else and I was actually just cruising around this whole time. So LSF dash A LSF then LSF dash A A L S F and like I said I changed crews. Somebody thought I would only be with the human race or something, life form types. And the truth was I used exoskeletons, I used 1.5s. I usually hung out with whatever crew, whatever people were around. Or whatever I had just invented or created genetically. So I could just genetically create life forms, do you see? So <clears throat> usually I liked eggs because you just hatch them. When you, when you get where you're going, you just hatch them. Like I said, I remember one time I, had, I was in this little test shuttle. I built a prototype a couple million dollar whatever credit prototype and I took it out and um, and I saw a planet and it looked like a normal planet but it turned out to be a high gravity world and I had left a low gravity world and I went <laughs> <laughs> and I only had two exoskeletons and one and one was, was was badly injured or something like that so so I was there for a long long time and we got a mine going, and eventually we mined some metal, and eventually I, I fixed, I, I built the part, the spare parts, or for, had, the, had the spare parts that I needed forged and all that other stuff, and built a nice little colony. Repaired the ship, and eventually I blasted off with the thruster. And like I said, as I was going up, the thruster was like, and the thruster went, and broke off. <laughs> the, thrust, the mounting on the thruster broke off and went, I was like, I got it, I, I, I keep still that. But it was high enough that it actually cleared. <laughs> I came in, and the ship, I was coming in. I was doing a re-entry landing. I was coming in. I was like, and, and I blew it and went, and like, and they're like, you're not clear to land. You're not clear to land. I was like, I'm landing. <laughs> I come in and hit the bulkhead. Because the thruster broke off, the, the the thruster was fine, but when I was trying to re-enter, and it had kind of had kind of had wings on it, it kind of had wings on it. So, and the wings were supposed to do aero braking. It was supposed to be able to land, you know, like a space shuttle kind, of, or like an aircraft. But the like I said, on the way in, the thruster broke off. Went, <laughs> or something like that. I lost the thruster. I lost something, and and basically it was I crashed right on the runway and went right into the hangar bay, and <laughs> it was a big fireball and had to download off or something like that or get off the ship basically and the ship was it was a brand new like like some odd million dollar credit ship and toast <laughs> like i said there's thousands of pictures where there will there'll be this ensign and and you see in the background you see this the, the, this this ship and it'll be crashed like this into a mountainside and, and there'll be this girl pointing to to, to this ensign <laughs> <laughs> like I said, ships are not cleared to land on, on what's called. And I'd be like, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. We're gonna land. And like, like you do not have permission to land. Blah 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 blah. And I'm like, I'm landing. It's my ship. <laughs> do you know you just crashed? A 50 blah 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 credit ship. Do you know how much that is? Do you know what that's going to cost the, the, the whatever? And I'm like, it's my fault. It's my fault. It's not their fault. <laughs> like, sir, are we really landing this thing? Yes, we are landing this thing. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yes, I'm landing this thing. <laughs> You know we don't. You know that's against regulation procedure. You know that's an automatic court martial. It's like, it's like I'm landing. It's my fucking ship. I built it. I paid for it. I own it. I'm landing the ship. 
So I... <laughs> you relieved of duty. So I land the ship. I didn't crash all the time. I only crashed a few times. <laughs> but they were always epic. My crew loved me because we were the we were the crew that did stuff, you know. We didn't you know, we weren't bound by regulations. I could I could just be like I could just be like, I'm doing it. And they're like, you know that's a good sub. <laughs> you don't have a right to do that. Yes, uh, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, sir. Okay. You're doing it. <laughs> We're doing it. All right. <laughs> my crew loved me. My crews always loved me because, because you know, normally you have to call back to home base or whatever, or home plan or whatever, and you have to get permission, blah, blah, blah. And that can take weeks. But with me on board, I was just like, I'm making the call. We're doing it. <laughs> so I'd make the call as president, as leader, as Lucifer Starline. So... <laughs> So like like I, I um, I uh, I brought medical supplies to some planet or something like that. I did this. I did that. I did all kinds of stuff. And and like I said, the the Republicans or whatever, whoever the the whatever 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 hated me because because they were trying to do all this blah 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 blah. And I was just like, <sniffs> and they couldn't say anything about it. I built the ships. I invented the ships. I created the human race and 12 life form types and could do whatever I wanted within reason so and they couldn't find an excuse other than other than my tendency to crash ships as basically a court martialable or a prison or a jailable offense basically <laughs> so there's lots of pictures of crash ships and them laughing or whatever because and it's like it's like a brand new prototype like more money than than a, than, than a planet's worth spaceship and I crash it. <laughs> I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. So that's the truth of Lucifer Starline, the president, the uh, the leader of, of of my company. So yeah, I had an epic, 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 more than epic existence. And uh, I was a hero. Yeah, I was I was the master in chief, so yeah. Everyone's like, oh, it's like, shut the fuck up. And that's that's the thing is, is I can say whatever I want. I can I can do whatever I want. I could, you know, because like I'm the actual, I'm 100 trillion years old or 99 trillion years old. What are you going to do? Nothing. <laughs> so anyway, and the most that they, that, they, that they could try and get me on is basically bullshit war crimes or whatever. Like I said, I never, I never ordered anyone executed. I never ordered, you know. I never violated. I I wrote the, the 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 Constitution and the human rights policies, basically. So anyway, like I'm the I'm the inventor of democracy and government. So, and life form types. So, they couldn't say anything. They couldn't stop me. They couldn't. They couldn't sanction my whatever or sort of blah 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 or slap me with a with a with a with a with a with a, with a gag order. It's like. You're going to gag the creator of 12 life form types of the oldest life forms in existence. And the inventor of everything 500 times. With over 100 <clears throat> or 500 or 2,000 deep space missions underneath in his record. So, the actual literal Lucifer star line. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Republicans, the Democrats, Richard Nixon, John McCain, everyone hated very much because there wasn't a damn thing they could do about me. They couldn't even kill me. I said with twelve types of life forms to defend me and time travel and blah 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 blah. There wasn't anything they could do. And they couldn't unexist me because of the fact that I existed then. So and they had forgotten about me for so long that they couldn't go back and do anything. It was already too late. It's already too late. Yeah. So there wasn't, there isn't anything that they can do about me because they couldn't find me for millions of billions of trillions of years. I was just cruising around on my spaceships, going the slow way, while they were bouncing around in the fast way, and they didn't even know I existed anymore. They had forgotten about me. They just read the side of my ship and saw the name tag and didn't even realize that I was the Lucifer White Star Line or Lucifer Star Line person of so long ago. So. <clears throat> there literally wasn't anything that they could do about it. They thought I was dead. They thought I was gone. They'd forgotten about me. They didn't realize who I truly was until I started talking. 
Lucifer tells all in his tell-all videos about everything, every single one of them, or at least the pertinent ones. Like I said, I had many, there are thousands of millions of trillions of records. Existence master. So, well, they will try and, try and say, Brian, 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 Brian! Till they're blue in the face, literally. And have me codenamed Project Deep Blue. Blue! Like I said, I wasn't ever actually the blue computer. They thought that maybe I was that little box or something. It's like, uh, I don't think so. No, that's the thing that tried to kill me someday. That little blue box, I believe, is the thing that actually tried to kill me or something like that. I don't know. But I'm, I'm Project Deep Blue or Project Blue or Project Blue Horizon or Project something, Blue something. Because I told some people, I was like, I like the color blue. And this and, and so the guy was like, okay, you will be, I, I like, the, he was like, pick a code name or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, blue. And he was like, okay, you will forever be known as Deep Blue. Anyway, whatever. I don't know. Some whatever, whatever, whatever. Like I said, I don't care. It's stupid. Because I'm not blue. I'm not deep blue. I'm Lucifer Starline. Starline. Anyway. And Germany. German technology. Or something. <laughs> I love Germany. Germany was awesome. Germany was amazing. High-ranking female officers, high-ranking male officers, high-ranking children, high-ranking people, hugs and snuggles. And basically, like, Germany was great. I don't know why Germany got known as a gray country or whatever like that. I don't know. Maybe they were known as white. I don't know at one point in time. Germany was awesome. Like I said, I, I love the Renault manufacturing plant. And, and, and seriously, Lotus, the car manufacturer, uh, Lotus, the car, the car manufacturer. They're, they're the, they're the, they're, the, they're actually the Renault people or whatever that I knew long, long ago. Like, um, I probably shouldn't say that because they'll be killed and dead and tortured, blah, 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 for helping me. But they did. I mean, they were cool. You know, we were doing engines and flight together. They, they invented a lot of the things or did a lot of things. They're really awesome. They know computers and they, and they know engines like nobody else. They're really, really a good family. They helped me retake. Paris at one point in time. Paris was run down and being destroyed or whatever. And so, <clears throat> and they said, we're just whatever. So we protected the town. We hired on a bunch of mercenaries and we took back Paris. And we also put a place an ad in the paper saying, or an ad that we were going to retake Paris and that we wanted volunteers or whatever. And so a bunch of people signed up and, I'm, and they said, is it okay to use your money? And I said, yes, it's okay to use, use my money for, for this. So, so we paid paid the mercenaries and we retook Paris and we built it and fixed it. So they asked me for, 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 for permission. I gave them permission to use my money, which is ever, like I said, I live cheaply. I manufacture most of, m most everything that, 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 that I built. People were trying to say, oh, he spent millions on those ships. He spent millions on that. He's broke. It's like, no, 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 no. From, from mining to, to steel manufacturer to, to the factory that actually builds it, I don't spend any money. I didn't spend any money. I just made money. I just made more and more and more and more and more and more money. And just ever increasing amounts of credits. Like I said, I have so much money and own so much that it's almost like I don't even have money. Because everyone belongs to me. I own everything. Over thousands of trillions of years of inventing and building. And I didn't spend a dime. I didn't spend any money. All I did was play, well, the, the, the only money I actually spent was actually paying my employees and paying people. That's the only money I spent, and I manufactured, I mined the metal to make the coins to give to my employees. So, anyway, like I say, smack down. And there's not a damn thing they can do about it. They can't say I went bankrupt. They can't say, I did this, I did that. I didn't spend any money. I'm the richest, most amazing person out there. I have so much money, I could literally just, if, if someone sucked up all the water out of the oceans tomorrow, I could send word to one of the other life forms or one of the other planets and have the water re... <laughs> filling you right back up, sir! Like at one point in time, one time, one point, one point in time, they charged me for water and I was like, and, and, and somebody was like, we're filling you right back up, sir! Now you have more water on your planet again. 
they charge me a couple hundred thousand or a couple million credits. It's like, who I am, the, you know, <laughs> 12 or 800 galaxies. At this point in time, 900 trillion years later, I could literally probably say, I want a star there. In your honor, sir. And two planets, please. Yes, sir. And a moon. Yes, sir. That's how I know what God is. It's either government authorized delusion or government of defense or something like that. that or giving of defense. I don't know. Like I said, it's, a, it's an acronym for the Pentagon. Just like the DOD. It's all technology. So, anyway, um, the government or the, the Congress and everybody knew that eventually somebody would look, somebody would notice, somebody would be able to tell. Nanotechnology discovered it. AI's computer intelligence discovered it. It was so obvious, life forms actually discovered it. People out here in the world today look around, looking around, seeing everything, seeing everything. You know, they know it too. It's like that little thing. Like some people would say, there's this thing, this question that's gnawing at us. It's all around us and we can tell, but we don't know what it is. Like, it's a manufactured planet, basically. We built this baby. Mined it and did all kinds of stuff. And it's like my little playpen. You are my playthings. Ah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I joke, I love it. <laughs> you are my pleading. <laughs> I can't keep a straight face. Like, no, I mean, I, you know, I'm Lucifer Star. I mean, I'm just a creator and a very old one. Like, I mean, what? What do you expect? Madhavani? Santa Claus? Richard Nixon! Here's Nixon! <laughs> I chopped off the arm. Well, we chopped off the left arm and we chopped off the left arm. Cut, 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 cut the video, cut the video, cut the video. <laughs> Richard Nixon on camera said to the world how they chopped off the left arm. He, they chopped off his left arm or her left arm and then they chopped off his right arm. He admitted it to the world. And the Republicans never got to where someone was cut, cut, cut. But it was like live or a second or only with a small delay. There's a reason why they started doing delays in in the video because people would get on camera and they would say the truth. Blah, 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 blah. And it'd be like too late. So they so they originally had a two minute delay on the video and then they put it on even the live TV. That's the thing about live TV. It's not actually live. It's got a five minute delay or ten minute delay. But they but they lied to you about it. It's all lies, lies. It's all lies. Everyone knows it. The actors knew it. The People in the movie TV series knew it. Like it's so obvious. I think uh, I think a garbage collector is like it's all lies, you know. <laughs> it's so fucking obvious. That's ridiculous. Like like during the war, what they were really going after were they were going after the records buildings. Everybody knew it. Like 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 they bombed a school where they were raping some women, and then they bombed the the the, the records building. That building was a records building. That's all it was, was a records building. And the records were in the basement. And then they fled the basement thinking that the records were destroyed, but the records, but one, they dried them out, and two, the records were in vaults. So they didn't really destroy all that much. So they were, and they were trying to say, oh, it was a fire after, after, after the explosion that destroyed the records. And it was just Republicans and Democrats, and they were just trying to lie, trying, trying to cover up everything that they did, everything that they're doing. And it was to no avail whatsoever. Because like I said, just one deep space mission is like 190 years or 150 years. There is no way in hell they could ever get near me. Even the institution of the Republicans, even the institution of the Democrats, even the American government had no way of actually out-existing me. And they had no way of unexisting me. So I had simply existed for too long. And 
was was the one that existed then in the first place. So, they were fucked. Like I said, they didn't know. They probably didn't know whose house that was on that in, on that hill, Pennsylvania Way. It was supposed to be 471 Mountain Drive, but it wasn't a mountain. And it was supposed to be my, and it's my house. It's Lucifer White Star Line's house. They're just lying to the people of the earth. They're lying to the space. They're lying to everyone. Everything's a lie. If you even go chick, 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 to the Republicans, there's a Republican militia and a Democrat militia. They were just trying to do the communism. Um, Richard Nixon was trying to say he invested in, in the communist countries or built blah, blah, blah. And realistically, it wasn't his money. It was never his money. He was just trying to take credit for my money. Like all of them. They're just trying to take credit for my money. They're just trying to lie. And like I say, no avail. Somebody, somebody who is very powerful in the universe very much grabbed them at the point of death and took them off to torture them. Like I said, at this point in time, the Chinese would have a reason to kill them or torture them. The 1.5s, the exoskeletons, even America. They killed lots of people in America. There was a lot of death and a lot of torture in America or in the United States. There was a lot of death and torture in Germany. There was lots of death in Mexico. They used to go around, they killed entire towns in Mexico trying to say, oh, it was the Republicans, it was the Democrats, it was Roosevelt. The Irish told me the truth about it. The Irish said, well, actually, your guy's dead. Roosevelt is working for blah, blah, blah. Probably the Republicans, I assume. Trying to take over Panama Canal. JFK was trying to take was, was was trying to say that he owned Panama Canal, but he didn't. They set up a little Republican bitch place, whatever. It was, Roosevelt was found in in Colombia with a bunch of money trying to raise a militia to try and attack the Panama Canal. So all this truth, you see, and like I say, I don't have to do a damn thing. I told him, I made a bet with him one time too. I said, I bet you I don't have to do anything. I bet you all I have to do is tell the truth. And I'll win. Like I said, that's why Rodney and everyone else says, delusions, Brian, delusions. Brian, who's this Brian you speak of? <laughs> that's just my home name. A looser white star line. A looser star line. Starline. Inventor of spaceships, builder of a colony ship, the LSF. And I'm laughing my ass off. When I pointed that great big colony ship at the ground at the president and was blasting, going full thrust right into his limousine, I tracked, I, I, I scanned the planet, looked for him, saw him in his car, in his limo, and hit full thrust on the thrusters. Straight down. They said it looked like a needle. Because afterwards, I, like, I was like, did you see it? Did you see it? Was it cool or what? Because like I said, they came on, to my, on board my ships, like five or four really powerful, really tough bodied people in like, in like uh, cybernetic bodies or something like that. I looked for the president or the person that was living inside my White House, saw him and locked the doors, turned off everything and hit full thrust right towards him and his limo. And said, "Let's see if your armor, if, you, if your armored car can can, can can stop this, like a needle, <clears throat> right into his car. There's no way in hell they could leave. There's no way in hell their bodies were going to be able to withstand that full thrust of my great big spaceship. I don't think it was the LSF though. I think it was another spaceship. I don't really know. Might have been, but basically right into his limo." And I was laughing the whole way down. Or at least I would have been. They like to mute me a lot, though. So, anyway, yeah. Stories from my past. And how I just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> they were trying to keep me away from spaceships because, you know, I was going to take care of the problem regardless. 